Alright, welcome back. Last time, um, we started doing some economic imperialism, uniting the South American, well, the American market, under one market, except for Granada, because screw them. And there's also some other interesting elements, for example, well, Poland-Lithuania reformed, so that's at least nice. And there's now Russia, unified under Novgorod. Almost certainly. There have been some oddities going on. <laughs> and I've currently been bribing the petite bourgeoisie with greater government wages to keep them from revolting. I think I can handle this now. There. The economy is doing well in most cases. The biggest problem is that services are just plain overproduced. There is very little I can do in order to lower the amount of subsidies dumped into the urban centers. There's just way, way too many services. Let's see. Are there any industries that I can expand that aren't affected by subsidies? I think it's the clothes. <laughs> yep, it's pretty much the clothing industries. Though I will not be expanding this state anymore because I have also mentioned that I'm unable to expand government administrations because of a mod conflict with the patch update. However, Divergences isn't updated yet, so that's at least good. Yeah, textile mills don't seem to have any issues, which is good. However, I do also need more here. The chemical plants are also fine. Which is excellent. So I need more fertilizer. And more explosives would be nice too. So I use that for construction. I should also expand iron mines. Which is what's going on here. Sadly, I don't think there's that many iron... Okay, there's plenty of iron sources. It's just that... Some of them are in places that I don't care about. And that's the revolution done. So we keep to want and see you. The name. But the flag has a uh, bison on it. I would have liked we, if we kept the rainbow flag. That would have been amazing. Yeah. Why not? Hopefully the welfare won't ruin my economy. <laughs> But increasing the enfranchisement of dependents will be very powerful. Though I have to yet again complain about the fact that women's suffrage requires one of the voting laws. It also makes sense for anarchy, despite the fact that anarchy isn't a voting law. I guess maybe oligarchy? It depends on your definition of oligarchy. Oh no. Oh, no. Okay, lockdown. Total lockdown. I cannot afford. A high level of mortality.
Mm, I'm not particularly interested. Sorry. Oh, construction production is going down. Uh, that might be where subsidies are going. If I don't build, stuff goes into subsidies. <laughs> very, very circular, isn't it? Okay, a ton of you. Three of you. I also could use more sugar. Problem is, my sugar plantations apparently don't produce enough money. Might just be... Oh, I see. Right, reduced railway throughput. That's going to be a very serious issue if it hits certain st pro states. Because I'm highly reliant on that. Frickin' Agony's flu. Oh, oh, and it also hits my... Thankfully, it only lasts half a year. Ugh, this is really bad. Oh. Let's put the past behind us. The trade unions will always select anarchist leaders. Triggers the event, the conquest of bread. Because I've already completed the journal entry for it. When will this play again? Because it has been ripping my country apart. Okay, I think I can end the session here. Yeah. Um... In case why this number looks so bad up here. Um, flu pandemic. It has ripped through my country multiple times. And honestly, I've been going in and out of default multiple times. I'm not sure how I'm avoiding default in actuality. But it's still all going really bad. Especially since... It well, okay, when it hits Tilwanka, that's where almost all of my administration is, and I can't diversify. So I have serious, serious problems when that occurs. It gets awful. However, there is some good news. Um, I ended up getting the Council Republican anarchist in an anarchist commune. I thought you were supposed to always go... You're supposed to always pick anarchist leaders. And now the rural folk are ethno-nationalists. Uh, screw them. <laughs> I mean, I'm not the only one. The world is so apparently on fire at the moment because there is a civil war every other month popping up. Yeah. Africa is awful looking. And everyone's on fire. The plague started in Aragon, and I wouldn't be surprised if it's... Is it perhaps still, it's ongoing for them? Yeah. Really, the biggest problem is the fact that my, um, uh, the 
infrastructure is also... There's two really big problems. The infrastructure gets hit, so I start getting goods shortages all over the place. And my administration gets hit, which causes my tax income to go to near zero. And I have to pay subsidies for everything, which is becoming especially bad because low market access means that the stuff that needs it isn't getting it anymore. So, yeah. I have to deal with that. And it's causing a lot of trouble trying to get everything to work well. Especially since goods that were previously expensive no longer are, and then goods that weren't expensive now are again. Due to the specific heavy hitters of the industry being targeted and in different states. Except for when this is the state that's targeted, because that causes my entire economy to start collapsing in on itself again. Especially since this one is very reliant on its infrastructure, on its railways for infrastructure, because I have 472 infrastructure usage, and that is impossible to accommodate without building. So I have 18 levels of railways here. Yeah. It dropped by 225. The actual amount is supposed to be closer to 500. Of course, that's with the rural folk remaining loyal. The fact is, ethno-nationalists, so uh, however long that's going to last, I don't know. Oh, okay, so 47% of the political strength is loyalist. Okay, I see. I no longer have Upper Strata, but that was already kind of questionable that I had any in the first place, because they were all um, aristocrats in the subsistence farms, which, by the way, worker cooperative, so... And though, in most cases, I'm still maintaining government-owned, because I would like for the intelligentsia to remain uh, powerful, because... Well, why not? So, of course, I'm also having serious trouble all over the place. But I believe I can transition the... to see lane strategies without trouble. Well, okay. I can't afford a good substitution at the moment. I've also uh, been upgrading my military. I've got trench infantry, siege artillery... Machine gunners in my capital. I still don't have any of this stuff, but that's because I don't have opium, and I'd rather not rely on a product that I would have to import overseas. Oh well. What's even better is that the pandemic actually pa disappeared from my country at one point, but then reappeared again. Additionally, construction has been on and off, because you can't construct while in default. But, as I said, I'm going in and out of default over and over again. Most of my tax income goes into subsidies. And all the other expenses... Well, the, sure, the other expenses may be about half my tax... Only about half my tax income. But subsidies are already 90% of my tax income. Yeah. At least the priesthood is quickly disappearing. Plus interest group pop attraction. Oh. Probably a bonus. Charismatic? Yeah. Agricultural employment also does that. Only pops up all the state religion. Hmm. Oh well. Thankfully, there's I'm getting a throughput bonuses, so that's so the serious problems are for the most part reduced. Still, I'm having issues all over the place. I think I'm 
I think spending the paper mill should be fine. Of course, keyword should. Plus, this province actually um, doesn't even have the infrastructure to support itself anymore. Uh, or at least barely does, under normal circumstances. But that's uh, something that can be done next time. <laughs> or at least handled more thoroughly. So, plus the GDP has been, but that's probably due to the pandemic itself. I'm sure everyone else's GDP is going haywire, or at least everyone that's trying to handle the um, pandemic. I still have number one GDP, though, by a lot. Like, second is Hedgehouse with 14, with one pound less, and then third is Switzerland with two and a half less, and then Baden with three and a half less. Yeah. Only the top five have more than ten. And only sixth and seventh, in addition, have more than nine. Although, oddly enough, Russia is one of the ones with high, GD high GDP per capita. As for actual GDP, well, I'm a bit of a ways behind the first place, which has double, but I think, I'm not sure, are they being hit by the plan, the pandemic? Yes, but they're, they're going full blast, don't care about the, don't care about mortality, mortality, focus on the economy, which I can see is having quite an effect on the turmoil. <laughs> Oof. But as for technology, um, we've reached tier 5 in society tech, so I'm avoiding researching society tech because... Well, automatic spread is going to get it anyway. We're almost at tier 5 with industrial tech, with production tech. Military tech, just about reached, it's just the submarines. Though there are far more tier 5 techs in military than I think it both of the other types combined, so I think after I've gotten this I'll probably end up just focusing on military tech. Because I do also I in all my playing I still haven't gotten the achievement for getting all the technology, so yeah. Of course for that I'm going to need to build up my universities even further. Although I don't know how much innovation I'm actually generating, because, yeah. Especially since it also gets an economy of scale bonus, which makes the entire thing even more difficult to calculate. But I think I should be getting around 160. Hmm. Yeah, around 160. So I can probably get five more levels in here, and it should be fine. Of course, that's assuming I can afford it, which for the moment I can't. It's just everything going wrong at once. My source of ironclads, my, well, the navy is getting incredibly expensive because my source of ironclads is dead in the water, basically. I'm running low on lead, but that's probably because most of my lead mining locations happen to have the same exact issue. As before, once they fully reintegrate into the market again, that problem should be gone again. Though it's liable to rear its ugly head yet again. Uh... I do wonder where I was... Okay, so I filled out that lead mine. There's lead mines here, but I'm busy with other things here. Um, oil industry, I guess. Perhaps. Sometime in the future. I could do lead here. There's plenty of population to use. Okay. Yeah. It's a lot. I'm trying to keep the economy running in while... Provinces can randomly drop their throughput by 50% for six months. Yeah. I just hope it ends soon. Because this is getting annoying.
and difficult to deal with. But I'll see you again next time. Until then. <laughs>